Hey folks, David Henry back with you from LearnStageLighting.com. Welcome back to the 30 days to becoming a lighting ninja, where in just 30 days I'm going to talk through everything I think about when I'm creating a lighting show. And so today, I want to talk about a magic sheet and 2D view. Okay, these are kind of two different things, or a 2D plan. Because a lot of the times, you get your lights in your console, right? That's the first thing to do. We talked about patching. You give each light a DMX address. You put it into your console. And, you know, now we've created groups as well where you can select on your screen, perhaps, you know, one for um, a certain group of lights, one for another, one for every other light, et cetera, et cetera. If you, if you did miss that, catch yesterday's video in the playlist. But what I like to do also is to just create a simple 2D plan or, or plot view, okay? And, and I'll show you an example of what one looks like on a screen. This is what it looks like inside of MPC. And all it is is just a layout on your stage of how your fixtures lay out so that you're able to just go in there, and, and you could do this on paper, you can do it on the screen. In fact, let me sketch one out on paper quick. Let me grab a marker here. So all I did was I just I just sketched something out on paper quick. I think you can see this pretty well. Where I just went ahead and literally just grabbed my different fixture numbers and, and sketched out where they actually sit on my stage. And, and so this is fictional, but it could be real. And it, it very much looks like a real show. Because generally, you've got different fixture types and you've probably potentially given them different fixture numbers inside of your console. Um, I'll link to a video um, here about fixture numbers and why you should use them if your console's capable of that. And I've just sketched out where they are on the stage because in general, things don't always go in order on the stage to match your fixture numbers. And so having just a quick 2D plan like this, if it's on the screen or on a paper like this, means that at any point, you know, you're programming away, you say, I want that light. I want the light, that second backlight above the drummer, okay? Now, where is that? Well, instead of, you know, highlighting random lights, taking guesses, moving things around in your console, you could just go ahead and know precisely right away off of your 2D view, say, oh, oh, it's 202 and 203. Those are the ones right above the drummer. And then you grab them, and you do what you're going to do, and then you're good. And so that's why really creating a 2D view can be really great. Now, a great... um way to hack this as well, and you can do this in MPC software, other pieces of software, and on paper, is to create a magic sheet. And what a magic sheet is, this is really simple, is it's just a grid of lights where you could say have, you know, all of your, you could just say, okay, here are the lights that point at the drummer. Here are the lights that point downstage, you know, at the front of the stage. Here are the lights in the audience. And just create different rows for each kind of light so that it's easy for you to find graphically as well. It's it's just kind of an alternative method of looking at it, but one that, especially if you're working with bigger shows or larger amounts of lights, it can really save you a lot of time when you're looking for a specific lights or group of lights. It, it kind of takes that group concept to another level by just organizing things a little bit better. Awesome. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to grab my guide. The four things that you need to know before you buy any lights. I'm going to have a link right here and be sure to subscribe below as well. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow where we're going to talk about pallets. Nope, not the kind that uh, ship large crates of things, but different kind that's inside your console. We'll talk about that tomorrow. See you there. Thanks.